welcome, welcome, welcome. Yay. You are watching Mondo Market TV, your weekly sparkle of creativity. And here we are with another episode. I've got the wonderful Shahar Boyayan, and today she's going to teach us how to create beautiful jewelry pieces out of paper. Paper, you heard that right. Listen, that lasts though, forever. Yes, yes. Listen, though, before we get started, remember that this is an, is an interactive broadcast. So if you have any questions, any comments, we want to hear them. We love it when you participate. So do that. You can do that on Mondo Market TV, the best place for you to watch that will render you your best experience. So go there, mondomarkettv.com to watch. But if you are on Facebook or on YouTube, I will be monitoring those right here as well. And you can send in your questions and comments through there and I will relay them over. And don't forget to share, okay? Let people know that we're live. This is gonna be fun. It's just a weekly sparkle. It's just to give you that moment, the moment, your, your me time. So <laughs> that you just have time to learn something new and just have fun with it. So I'm actually gonna share it right here, right now. Yes. Well, Shahar, you take over for me for yeah. just a sec. If you're watching this, don't forget to share, okay? It's only content. So, so you, you want to share with your friends because it's going to be cool. We are going to be talking a lot about paper and what you can do with paper in jewelry in a, in, a, in a way that it lasts, right? You want things to last forever. You don't want to make something that you wear once or twice or you give to somebody and then they come and everything is, oh, right? You want to make sure of that. But I do want you to interact with me. Why? Because it just makes things better. We are all about inspiring and sometimes we are thinking in one way with the paper and you're thinking another one because you are into some other type of art or craft that could use this as well. Well, we want to know about that because how, that, that is how we get inspired right here, okay? So before we, I get started, I'm going to show you uh, how to fold and probably you heard before about origami. It's a Japanese art where you fold paper to turn into 3D figures. Uh, usually with origami, if you, you start with a square piece of paper like this one, and you have a specific paper for origami that is, of course, easy to fold. But you can use other papers, papers that you have at home. For example, if you are into scrapbooking, you might have actually exactly six by six in that they come in small blocks. You can use those, okay? You just don't want something that is very thick because then it's going to create creases that you don't want to see. So in origami, usually the traditional origami, you start with a piece of square paper and you end with that square piece of paper folded. You never cut, okay? But there are some variations out there that are still called origami that you do cut. But if you're a purist, you always look for uh, animals or, or things that you want to fold that you're not going to cut the paper. So that's one of the of the things. And there are other forms of origami. There is one that I'm studying right now that is actually a wet origami. That looks way cool, I've it's, seen that. Yes, it's, it's, they, they create amazing sculptures, yes. right? So it means that the paper would get wet at some point. That's not what we are going to create. By the way, Shahar, Ruxi says, hey, hi, Ruxi. Shahar and Ash. Hello. <laughs> so, so we are going to be learning that and I'm going to make here for you to see really in close up how to do. We are going probably to create three to four different pieces that you can memorize actually very fast how to make them. But don't forget one thing, this video, right now we are live, but it stays, it stays whatever you're watching for at least one week. So you can come and revisit. If you are folding something like a butterfly and you forget one step, just come back and watch that part. You can forward, you can write everything mm -hmm. uh, because I, I don't know about you, but I don't memorize stuff right on the first time. Uh, I might think, oh, that's quite e easy, it's, it's fast to do. But then when I try, I forget if it was up, I still do. So you just know you can come and, and revisit that folding part. And then- Repetition is key. It is key. And then we're going to talk about the power pole that I'm going to use because that's what makes this jewelry last for a very long time. Ooh. If you go online, like you are right now, uh, you can Google um, origami jewelry and you're going to see quite a few of them, very pretty pieces actually. But most of the time, 99% of the time, they use white glue. Mm. to 
to coat the piece. Because if you leave just the paper, it's going to lose its form, Super right? Super quickly. Because you're going to be wearing, there is a, a, a traction going on. Uh, so the problem with that is they do stay f good for a while. But if you're out and it's a snowy day or a rainy day, like we have right here in Salt Lake today, it's been snowy and raining the whole day. Well, that piece, if it gets wet, you know very well that it's going to spoil, right? Because those, those type of materials will not hold humidity. That's one thing. And the other thing, let's suppose it's a big summer day uh -huh. and you're wearing your pieces, but it's very hot outside and you sweat a little bit. Mm. Same thing starts happening, right? You're going to get some of that glue on your skin and you don't want that. Not fun. Right? With Puffer Po, you've heard before, and if you haven't, you really need to dig into this because it's really cool. It's not only going to coat the paper, it's going to harden that paper, and it's going to protect from the elements. Nice. So then it's going to last a lot more, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's a very cool product. It makes it non-toxic. Waterproof, right? And it hardens the fiber. And guess what? Paper? Paper is fiber. Paper is fiber. Fiber is paper. Yes. Right? So before we go to the demos, what about we show some finished pieces? Ooh, I think that's a good idea. Okay. How about this guy? No, he's not a jewelry PC. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How about if we show you jewelry? Paper yes. jewelry. <laughs> it, I mean, they are decorating. They are also origami, but... So, so for example, this beautiful necklace. And you can see here, is tell us crane. about this the is origami crane. crane. Uh, there is a, a tradition that says that if you fold a thousand cranes, happiness and all your dreams will come into fruition. Ooh. So many times people fold a thousand crane, cranes to uh, attract that happiness. Uh, Not we, to mention, we actually talked about I, I having will, a whole kind of curtain in front of the window with them, right? I will add to that. Fold a thousand cranes, make them into necklaces, and sell them. It will also bring you money. <laughs> and happiness. And happiness. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if we have time, we go. The, from everything that I have here today, the crane is the most complicated. Oh, uh, check this little guy. This is the first time I've seen him. Oh, look at this. This is a fox. Ooh. Look at this look little Look how fox. cute it is, and look yes. how good it looks like a necklace. Yes. A pendant, right? Exactly. Uh, if you make it smaller, it could also be earrings. And you can see from the side there, yeah. it's paper. Yeah, I use the translucent kind of origami paper for that. It's super cute, I mean, yeah. right? Super cute. Right, super. The one that I'm wearing, let me show you an example. Let's see, do we have it on the table? One right here. This is similar to the one that I'm wearing. The one I'm wearing has translucent paper, but look at this one. Yeah. This paper has texture. It's, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Makes for a very elegant piece. Mm -hmm. And I like it with the folds. It gives it movement. Yes. It's a gorgeous piece. Yes. It would look very good in metallic uh, paper as well. Yes. Right? That's a good idea. And then we have the butterfly, Ooh, which the is going butterfly. to be the first one that we are going to learn. By the way, Kay says, hi, Shahari Nash, watching from Australia. Ooh. Have a wonderful day. Hello, mate. Yes. Look, this is this right here is the butterfly. I like the butterflies are mega cute. Yes. And I'll show you from both angles so you can see right there. Super cute. And you can play with the different kinds of paper and everything, yes, and right? That, that, that is really a crucial part here. Uh, I'm going to be showing with a basic paper. We have some others. On, on Mondo Market. The reason I didn't use those is because they were not here when I was preparing for this show. But there is one that has different, it's like a denning kind of paper. So oh, blues, that's it's fun. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, we have another one that we do have here. This one is a vellum uh, paper, paper which means, yes, which means this one I, I, I haven't turned into a pendant yet, but you can see the piece. So it, it's a little bit translucent. Oh. Look, very, uh, actually the one you're wearing is also like that. Yes, it is. And very, very pretty. So you, it, it has a, the, let's say 30% of transparency. Yes, and right? it has this some one design the same. to it, you can see. Yeah. Very nice. So it's a very nice one. We have that one as well. And then we have some others. Basically, you would, uh, to make what we are going to make today, the traditional Six by six is the one you find anywhere. Uh, it's the one we are going to use to create the leaf. The, this is a, this is a, this Let's is a, 
Is it a three by three if I'm not wrong? I think so. Yes. This is a three by three. Three exactly. by three. So if you have those two, there is another variation that you can have the four by four that will just make a little bigger. This one would not work for but the butterfly or the fox because it would be too, too big, big for even for me, it would be too big yeah. for a pendant. Yes. So but you have metal ones. The look at this one. Oh. Uh, it's a metal collar. They come together with uh, the package. It's shiny. So, yeah. Very nice. And then the last thing I want to talk about before we, we go is I coated most of them with the transparent power pole. Why? Because it's transparent. So you will still show the color of the paper uh, or the flowers or the design of the paper. But it's a choice. So this one, for example, has been coated with the bronze power pole. And this is one of my favorites, I will say. Yeah, I it's love, gorgeous. I see? love how this looks. And you this can is, see, let this me is touch. fancy. See, there is no budging on the paper. It's oh, yeah. quite, it's not totally sturdy like a metal piece, but it's quite sturdy. But it holds its it shape. Will, yes. You, Look, I can't even bend it. Yeah. Unless I put force. And that's one thing that you have to take into I mean, consideration. Look how pretty this it's is. It's gorgeous. It, this is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I love it. Yes. Uh, there is one it's difference between the transparent the, and the bronze that I've seen so far. When it hardens the fiber, uh -huh. the, the bronze hardens more than the transparent. Okay. Which means that if you want to, to have exactly the same type of hardness, I think the word is right, you would put another coat of the transparent. So you will still hold the design of the paper, the texture, whatever, but it would be hard as this. And this is the very last one. I did the same with the butterfly, and I think it's gorgeous. Oh my, I love Yeah, love look at this, this one. Look at this butterfly. Can we say cute? Cute, cute, cute. Definitely, look, look at, at this. that. And now you can see, well, wow. Very So pretty. see, uh, possibilities, endless, Most right? Most definitely. Yeah. Cool. So, are you ready? I'm so, ready. if you if you're there at home, grab any piece of paper that you have. Let me see which one. I'll do the butterfly. So, cut in three by three, so you have a square like this. Okay. Now, the origami paper that we have here and the ones we have to sell them on the market, they are they have color on one side. The other side is white. For beginners, and if you are a beginner, this is really helpful for you to get started. Okay, now later when you are so used that, you know, you make butterflies without thinking about it, you may want to find papers that have color on both sides. But this color is not going to show anyway. Okay. Okay, so, and this is the part I always mix up. Mm. So if, if I get it right, we start with the butterfly. All right. If I get it wrong, we go to the crane. Okay, okay. so you Let know. me see. Okay, if I get it wrong, we'll do it again. But I'm, I have the, the blank side facing up. So when you're doing your origami, there are some basic folds that you do to score the paper. And usually most of them start the same way. Okay? So what, what varies is if you start with a blank face or with a color face. So I'm going to fold in a perfect triangle here. So if you're doing at home, do with me because it's easier. And then you just score that. Or if you have one of those bones that you could use for paper as Ooh, well. Okay. Fancy. Then you, so I did this. I open and I turn to the other side. See, I just give one turn. And I do the same here. I score it again. Perfect triangle. Okay. And then I open again. Now I'm going to turn the paper. So I just fold it twice. Now I'm going to turn this paper and I'm going to fold here in the middle to form a rectangle. Then I open and I turn once and I do the same thing. I'm going to do it again so don't worry if you miss something. Okay, now, you see this is what I have. If I, do you see that these lines here go inside like a dip? So if I do this, look the magic, ta-ta-ta-ta, 
it folds into a triangle. Okay, got it there? I want to go slow so you guys can follow. And let me know if you're following with paper or not. Okay, now I have this triangle here. I'm going to turn this around. So the point is facing me. Okay, now I have two parts on each side. I'm going to get one of them and I'm going to fold so this part here meets the middle but then it's going to go on a kind of a diagonal. So I have some of it getting here, okay, outside. And I do the same thing on the other side. That's what I have so far. Okay, now. That looks awesome so far. Yeah, I get the bottom and I'm going to put this top here, here, up to the point that makes these two little wings Bend a little, okay, just a little. So I come, I'm just folding, see, see? And I have a triangle here that I'm going to fold inside. Do you see how these are bent? That's what you want to achieve. Once you're, you're here, you have to fold the whole butterfly and pinch, pinch. When you open, the butterfly is ready to fly. Isn't that simple? Super cool. Huh? Do you want to do it again? Let's do it with a yes. metallic one. No, look at this. Take a minute. Yes, I want to go. Look how cute this is. So this is the first step. You've got your butterfly. The butterfly in the paper. is ready, right? Look at that. This is the back, and here's the front. Tell me, this isn't super cute. It's super cute. Now, if I were making just this butterfly, okay, what would I do now? I would grab my puffer pole and I will show you with one piece, but I want to fold all of them first so my hands we'll are clean last. before I do the puffer pole. Good but thinking. that's what I would, would normally do. I would go grab my finger and go around, let it harden. And the best way is to wait about 24 hours. Once it's done, you grab one of your needles, the tapestry, uh, or not the tapestry needle because the tapestry needle has a blunt point, but uh, a big needle that has a sharp point, and you go inside here, once it's dried with the power pole, and you just do this, so it needs to be bigger than my pin, but then you can put the, the chain here, the and it's thing. ready. So let's do another butterfly, just to follow the steps. Let's do it now with the metallic paper. Do you find So guys, did I start with the blank? Do you find the metallic is more difficult than the other? Or makes no difference. Mm, makes no difference. Okay. Okay. Start with the blank. What do you guys think so far? Do you think that's easy? That's one of the easiest ones, the butterfly. Let us know. Let us know. But I'm going to make another one. Are you ready? I'm okay. ready. Let's do it. So get, grab a three by three. Okay. You can cut print paper. It would work just fine. Just okay, to for practice. you to learn. Okay. So I have first to give a, a triangle. And then oh, that's I gonna be a good one. I like that score. color. Score, yes. And I turn once, and I make another triangle. Okay, I open, and I have this. Yes. Now I turn, so I have the color side inside, and I fold into a rectangle. I open, I turn once, and I do the same thing again. Done, done. When I open this, I just need to pinch the sides, and it all turns into one triangle. Look at this, mm -hmm. okay? Now I put the top facing me. And I make the first pair of wings. See, and here is, you have to be careful when you're folding so you don't have much of the white showing. But because it is a butterfly, it's not going to be a big deal here. But it shouldn't show this, okay? I could be more careful. So I fold two wings, then I grab the bottom and I go in a round way until I reach the top, and then I fold that triangle inside. Once it's folded, I fold the whole butterfly. Oops, if wants to fly. 
-hmm. And I fold the whole butterfly and pinch the bottom. And here is another one. There you go. So you shouldn't have this white showing. I didn't fold exactly, but you, you have this one here. Okay, now this would be the time that you would come with the power pole and coat that so it hardens and it gets like this one that you actually cannot change at all. Yeah, see, the white shouldn't be showing. Right, but that's just a matter so it's, of going a little bit slower. Yeah, so this butterfly. I like, I like the metallic. <laughs> okay, nice. so if you now coat that with powder ball, it would be this hard in 24 hours. So let's coat one. So no, we are not going to coat one. You're going to talk about the powder ball and we are going to make the fox. Do you want me to talk about it before we use it? Yes. All right, so I want to bring your attention to the powder ball. We have it on sale today, mondomarkettv.com. This right here is the Transparent powder pulp, it's awesome for several reasons. Number one, it will allow you to harden your piece, like Shahar said, and it's gonna make it ready for the elements and make your origami piece last longer. It also comes in a very convenient bottle with a very convenient tip where you're, it's gonna give you more control to actually get to the nooks and crannies of your little piece and get the detail in there. Also controls the portion of the amount of the of the powder ball that you'll be using. So it's very convenient, it comes in an awesome box. It is on sale during the next 24 hours. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours. In fact, I'm gonna look at it right now. Normally, it's, uh, you can get this for about 18 bucks. Today it's 15 during the next 24 hours. Save yourself some bucks and uh, get your powder ball supply today. You can also on there, you will see, this is what's on sale today. You'll also see some origami paper if you don't have any and you would like some. We have some cool ones uh, that Shahar was talking about, the vellum and with the transparency and all of that. So mondomarkettv.com is where you go right now to get it. You know, you will want to have powder ball in your home because if you work with any type of fiber, it's amazing what you can do with this. So let's do the fox. Cliff, I need the black Sharpie. Okay, so I have my <clears throat> three by three. Okay. Here, okay. So I will, you always basically start the same way. You score once, turn, and score the other side. Okay, and then you open. You will see here that if I fold this in half and half again, I have a nice triangle here. And, and I just did something wrong. What did you do? I feel I'm missing one triangle. Are we, make, are we making <laughs> a triangle? I forgot my now? fox. I forgot my fox. Let me see. I'm going to undo this one to see what I did wrong. Oh, it folds again. So I fold this and I fold it again. So forgot once. Hang on, hang on. Let's show them. <coughs> okay. So I had one triangle, sorry guys, memory. And then I fold it again and I fold it again. So here I have three points. Can you see? Okay. So one point is going to be a year. So I'm going to fold it so it gets out here. And maybe I'll do this in a bigger paper too. Oh, that is cute. I like that Okay. Then I do the same with the other side. So I have two ears. Now see this one that I have? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my finger inside and fold it like this. So now the fox doesn't want to help me. Okay. So now when I unfold, sorry guys, I did something. The year I'm trying to go fast, and that's getting Don't go my way. Fast. Don't go fast. We, breathe, breathe. Look, we get to spend more time with you. Take oh, your time, Shahar. Okay, so now I have the little face here. I'm going to do with a bigger paper. Can you grab me a square? Yes. And I fold the tail. So the fox is ready. What I need to do now with my sharpie is just draw the face, the little nose. And then the eyes. Aw, cute. And it's ready. Very nice. Okay, when you coat, it's going to be hardened like the, the pink one that you showed. So just for you to see. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Let's do it. Uh, there we go, look at that. We'll do it with a bigger one so you can see a little bit better, but look how adorable this is. It's super cute. Super cute. 
Very nice. Okay, so I fold the paper. So let's review. Fold the paper, triangle. Right, open and turn and fold it again. Remember, if you have any questions, any comments, let, the, let us know. And then you, have, you put, put them together, you have one triangle. And then I fold it again in half and I have a smaller triangle, okay? So this is what I end up with. I'm going to, so this is the face, this is the tail. Now I'm going to put one this way and the other one, you can bend a little bit, but it's actually going to be flat at the end. And the middle one, you put your finger inside and do like this. There you go. Let me do it right. And I have my fox. Here is the tail. I just turn this and pinch. Then you with the sharpie, sharpie. And you draw that little nose. And then you have it. Super cute. Look at this. Here we have it. Oh, look, look, Char. Isn't that cute? Super adorable. Very nice. Cute little fox. Okay, so now you guys have, uh, need to tell me, are you interested in learning the leaf or not? Right? You're so quiet. I don't know. Maybe know, you're not. You are so quiet. So now what I do, I put some powder paw here just to make it easier for me to, to go around. And I just dab my finger and I will go on the paper. And if you're watching on Mondo Market TV, for some reason you don't see the chat, refresh the page. It should be there. Okay. So I put inside the paper as well because uh, it will work as a glue. So you're adding a fair amount in there, huh? Uh, no, no. Just... Really a dab. Just a dab. And I'm doing the same thing in the back. Now, when you're putting pieces outside with power ball, you know that you have to be extremely careful to cover every single piece of the fiber uh, because you don't want later the, you don't want the, the piece not to last, okay? But in here, you're going to be wearing this on your body. So it's not going to be with rain all the time and snow all the time. So you're good if you miss a spot or two. By the way, Ruxy said, yes, please, Leaf. And yeah. Bonnie said, yes, the Leaf showing would be awesome. Awesome. Leaf. OK, so this is it. Right now, of course, the paper is wet. OK, but see, it holds the shape and everything. It didn't smudge the Sharpie at all, so you would be OK. All you have to do now is let this rest. But here's the thing. You can still shape this a little bit more. Mm. Okay, so I have here my fox. If I want, I can bend the ears oh, a little bit now. While it's wet. Because while it's wet, so I make them more rounded, not so flat. Like this. And the face, I can bring the very first one. Let me see if I can grab without ripping. But I can make it a little chubbier or even detach from the rest. And by the way, while you're and doing that- And give some more okay. dimension to that, which again, uh, it's perfect for Power Paul to do that. Kay said, little fox and butterfly are so sweet. I would love to see the leaf. Yes. So, let's so we are show going them. to do the leaf. Okay. Yeah, but you know, you cannot wait for the promo today, right? No, no, you can't. Go I'm to Mondo my fingers. MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get your Power Paul supply. And we have the transparent here right now. Uh, here's a rag if you need. <laughs> no, it's okay. We have the transparent Power Paul on sale today during the next 24 hours. So I encourage you to go MondoMarketTV.com to get it. Comes in a handy dandy bottle. You're going to see it in action. It allows you to just squeeze it, gets to the nooks and crannies of your beautiful pieces. And this way you can make your little, little sculptures last a very long time and resistant to the elements. It's so amazing. What, uh, yeah, I'm really, really impre impressed. Uh, so a few months ago, I didn't even know about this product, but today I'm in love with this. A few shows ago, we made, uh, I made a, a, a special on coin purses and I used the rest of my fibers and yarn to cover that purse and then, you know, with the power pole, yes. that hardened everything. We have done so many things actually. This week we had a class on paper sculpture. Yes, we did. So Here, you can, can see. Can you grab that out? Yeah, I can them. grab that because that's a piece of art. Brittany Bellows. Look how pretty this is. Was a curious mondo. 
paper. Can you believe it? And she built this during class, and it's amazing. And look at him. Yes. I'm going to show you. And the very first day, she also did an egg. Remember? Yes. yes. Let's grab that egg. Yes. Oh, but it's so pretty. Here it is so pretty. Right she here. did she did that egg in green, and then I went took it home, and I put some powder pole. And look how pretty this is. Can and turn into bronze, and of course this could go in the garden now. Yes. Right, because it's covered and it's protected. So garden safe. It, it's super cool. Super and cool. If you, you if you use any type of textiles, again you can create the sculptures and things like that. Use the powder pole. Bonnie said, "I love that bunny." Yeah. And it's all made out of paper, Bonnie. How cool is this? Look, I'll give you the three. So check this out. You can, what your heart is saying basically, you can grab this paper sculpture and then cover you coat, that coat with it with pole. powder pole, and now you have a beautiful garden safe. Uh, sculpture. So you, you think about this, you start with a pattern because all these um, sculptures, they have patterns, right? Then you fold and you give this amazing look it that has it has, such very a fun unique. Look to it. But the moment you cover this with the power pole, that becomes a garden sculpture. I know. It is so cool. Isn't that cool? It's very cool. But we digress. This is about jewelry making. Well, today. it's about paper and power That's pole right. and how That's paper right. and power pole go well together, right? Okay. The leaf. Tell us how to do the leaf. So you will start with a piece of paper, six by six, and you are going to cut it in half. So here is where origami purists, they, they would frown upon because they don't like to cut, okay? But in our case, we are going to cut. So what you would do is you would score the middle and cut this. So I already have one, a piece here. So what I have is a rectangle, okay? Beautiful paper. What do you have? Rectangle. Rectangle. Okay, so what I'm going to do now Wait, is... Wait, how about a question from Roxy? Sure. What else can you coat with Paverpol? Is it waterproof? Totally waterproof. Definitely. Uh, totally waterproof, uh, comma. I can, if, if, oh, I just <laughs> put my, my fingers on the power ball. Nice, here you go. <laughs> but it's so cool because when it dries, just like when I was a kid, you just peel it off. Uh, you can, if you, if you look at again. Curious Mondo, Beverly Oliwell was here from Canada, yes. right? And she gave a course on how to create garden sculptures. So she creates something out of wire. Then she gets t-shirts and, and she puts on power pole so it gets all coated with power pole and she molds that into a beautiful figure, okay? That figure, when it, once it's ready, can go in the garden. Now, with that said, there are moments that you might be thinking, is it waterproof? So I want to make a bird bath. Mm. Okay, now you would follow the same thing. You would use, power pole goes well with any type of fiber. If you're going to put outside, it needs to be a natural fiber. So cotton, wool, wool. felt, things like that. So, but you, let's suppose you wanted to create a bird bath. So then it's going to be immersed in water. Well, then you would, create the piece, you would put the power pole, and then you would use another product called Power Plast. And you can look at our, our Mondo Market TV, we have that. Uh, actually, Beverly will be here next month giving an intermediate course. It's gonna be awesome. On creating sculptures with Power Pole, where she's going to show you exactly how to do that. So then you could actually have water in that piece mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the coat that you're going to get on the first moment with this is if it rains, if, it, if there is uh, snow, the piece will be fine. But again, you have to use with natural fibers if you're going to use outside. Yes. If it's inside, really doesn't matter. Okay, and of course with paper, with jewelry, uh, it's not a big deal. You don't have to be too worried if you grabbed every single nook and cranny. What you want to create is that sturdiness that when you're wearing the piece and you're moving around, the, the paper is not going blue. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my not so right, you can see it's not totally straight, but I have it here. I fold once to form a square and I open, and then I'm going to bring this here, and this here. You're going to see, this is so easy. And of course, when you're doing it at home, be very careful to get all the edges right so no white is going to show, and that's a reason a lot of people use with the color on both sides. Okay, so now I have this. I'm going to bring this top here to here. 
Okay, score, open. You see I have this score line here, hope you can see. I'll make another. And now I bring the top to the top of this line. And I score the paper again, open. And then I do the same, this top to the top of this line. Okay, now I'm going to use this line that I have to fold the other side like a, an accordion now. You go like this all the way to the top. Okay? Like you'll never, never stop. One, never, never stop. Just go one side, the other side. One side. Then you get to the front. So at least four times here. So you see I have one, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four. Okay? I have this. What do I do now? I fold this in half. Here's my leaf. What do I need to do? Grab some paper pole, or in this case, really here, whatever glue you want. I do this, and I join this part together, and I use a wonder clip or something you have at home just to hold for a few seconds until it glues. Oh, and so you have it ready. I now. Here's the thing. Of course, you need to put a, a chain here mm -hmm. to make into a, a necklace, right? So this one I left drying before we started. Come back here. You see I have this triangle. I don't know if they can see well. I cannot see well. OK, I just put it up. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see. Yes, yeah. like that. See? So I had it like this. Now I put it up. Here is where I'm going to put my chain. Okay, so here is where I'm going to go through a needle, a tapestry needle, and make a hole here. Now, it's going to be very easy now for this paper to, if I try to go with the needle, just to fall apart. So what you would do is cover this in paper paw, and then you go around the leaf. And in, in this leaf at home, actually, I usually use a, a brush just to go into the crannies here. But even if I didn't use Inside, it's okay because I get this part all very sturdy, so it's not going to move later. It's going to be like you see the others. But this is what I was, you would do. Now, you let it to dry. Then you come back and you put the hole here in this piece. And it would be ready to make into a pendant. Now, how easy is that? It doesn't take you five minutes super easy. to make one like this. Now, and it's so pretty. In the one that you were wearing, Ash, mm. I actually, it's the translucent paper that we have at Mondo Market. Yes. It's a vellum paper. And what I did was I, I did the leaf, I put the paper pole, uh -huh. and then I, I decided I, I was going to put a varnish. I do like shine. Oh, yes. A lot of people don't. Uh, but that's not, but I got a, so a satin uh, varnish, the, the Josephine varnish, that is the same brand from Power Paul. And I actually mix with some embossing powder. So you're going to see that you don't have only the green, mm -hmm. right? You have the green of the paper plus some oh, kind yeah. of brownish. Yeah. I could be looking for metallic embossing powder or even the Power Paul uh, powder and create more shine into that. Gotcha. So we, you don't have to, oh, I, I fold the paper, I put the paper ball, done. Yes, yeah, and if you're doing a show, like we have a show coming this week, uh -huh. that's exactly right. You make as many leaves as you want and, and, and you're done. And then you do. But when you, you can get the time, then you can add more. Uh, of course, if you add varnish, you're, you're adding another layer of protection to the piece as well. And you can put embossing. You just mix with the varnish in a, in a, like I'm doing here with the power pole and you put there and you have a beautiful piece. So I mean, piece. if you were selling, if you're gonna do a show and you want to do some origami pieces and you put the, the power pole to make it last, to make it resistant, to make it hold its shape, which obviously is the most important part of this piece, uh, how, and then you turn it into a necklace, how much would you sell it for? Uh, I, would, I would say, well, with a cord instead of metal, probably fifteen dollars. With 15 a, with bucks. metal, I would go with even a, higher. Yeah, higher. With than a that. chain, you would go a little bit higher. Now, fifteen. Nobody 15 would bucks, think about it. Easy peasy, no brainer. But cost wise, 
cost you the paper a few pennies? Well, a, a block of, uh, of uh, origami paper usually goes from six to nine dollars. So let's see, and nine you bucks. have an, uh, you have fifty pages, twenty four to fifty pages in each. So do the math there. It's very yeah. little for the paper. Plus, you're going to use just a little bit of the power pole, and this whole bottle is going to make you so many yeah. pieces. Your it's challenge, really actually, there. you know what the challenge is? I'll tell you. What is, is it? Is to find beautiful paper for, mm -hmm. for origami. Uh, if you are lucky enough to live in a city where you have some Japanese bookstores, ah, yes. that's a, an amazing source, but we don't have that here in Salt Lake. Not in Salt Lake, So I have least. to resort to craft stores, which they usually come in plain colors, which, which is fine. You see, they are nice, but that, they're not that nice. That's why I chose some amazing patterns for you on Mondo Market TV, like the yes. blue one is super gorgeous. And then I have a, a green one for the leaves there, amazing. And then some yellow to, to tan tones with some designs. Mm -hmm. So when you create the piece, you know, it, it just tells a different story than a plain color. So yes. think about this, because your challenge is not the process. The process is super simple, uh, but beautiful paper. But the beautiful paper. Look, Shahar, Bonnie said, love your leaf, and you explained it very well. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. So I'm going to do super fast another one, just in case. Ooh, okay. another leaf. So six by six paper, cut, cut in half. half. I have the, my, my rectangle. Then, of course, I score the middle. It's just for you to, be, to make sure that you have the right side on both sides, right? Bring the paper to the middle. It's okay if there's a tiny gap there. Okay, and then I'm going to put the top to the top three times, right? I score, then I put the top to that line I just made. I open again and I put the top to the line I just made. Then I start my accordion. Is that how you say? I guess. Sanfona. There you go. And you're going to do this about four times. And of course, take your time at home to do it so it is actually straight, okay? When you're done the four times, what do you do? You have this, you turn right in the middle of that triangle. And you fold it over. And you fold it over, and there goes your leaf. Now you this have will a take beautiful three leaf. minutes to make this. Super easy to make. Right, super easy. Such a then a little size. bit of, oh, Oops, pop, I'll pop. grab it for oh, you. OK, she'll be right back. There you go, oh, she's back. And you put there, this is starting to dry. You, you always have to keep your power pole closed. Because it dries fast. Are you using power pole or glue? Here? Transparent power pole. Transparent power pole. Well, power pole is technically a type of glue as well, right? So I can use it as a glue. And I have this awesome leaf. right ready to when once it's dry, I coat and then I punch, have it ready. Yes. Okay. I have one more piece that is the crane. What? Yes. Nice. The crane is awesome. Let me show you one. So guys, if you have any questions, this is a good time. Yes. Send us your questions. So look at the crane. Look how cute it is. I love the crane. So now I want you to show us how to make it. Because remember, you got to make a thousand of these for happiness. Yeah, That's and don't forget, say. every Thursday we are back here and we do some demos. And during that 24 hours since we go live, you have one product out of a very amazing price. So really, that's the moment you should make a decision. Not, do not think tomorrow, because tomorrow is too late. That is right. So go to mondomarkettv.com to get your supply of transparent power balls so you can create beautiful pieces. One bottle will last you a very long time. Very long time. It'll, it'll render a lot of necklaces for you. This per perfect size, super handy dandy. Uh, MondoMarketTV.com is where you go to get it during the next 24 hours. It's on sale. Normally, it's about 18 bucks. You can get it today for 15. So I highly, highly recommend for you to go there, Mondo Market TV, right now. And as a friend's advice, if you deal with any type of fiber, you want to have fiber. Yes. Home, period. Uh, there's so many things. There's so you many can things, do. and you're going to see so many more things being done it's here. So amazing. Now, Shahar, mm -hmm. look. A question from. Question. Lexi. Love questions. So she asks, is washi the same as origami paper? Washi tape is not the same because the washi tape, uh, the washi tape or the washi paper uh, has, uh, it sticks in one side. Ooh, so it'll make your life hard. No, you, I don't think you would be able to do the origami with washi paper. With okay. that said, 
you can use wash paper with power ball as well. And there are some instances that you want to do that. How I use wash paper, I actually like to get a pen. Oh, and we may do a mondo market on that. Oh, really? But I, uh, you saw the other day, we, I made some at home. And I showed you made one. a pen that I showed someplace, either on mondo market or, or on curious mondo. But I you made will Yellowstone. See it here. So I cut the wash paper and I put on the on the pendant blank. I remember. Right, right, right. And then I put some stars and yes, glitter or even cute. wood cutouts and I cover with resin and oh. I have a gorgeous pendant. Uh, but it yes. would work with power pole as a fiber Super because it pretty. is a fiber too. Super cool. pretty. So uh, Rexisa asks, is your paper three by six? This one that I'm using for the fox, I would use the fox, I would use the butterfly, and I would use the, the crane. It's three by three, four by four would be a tiny bit bigger, which if you think, it's not a bad idea. Let me put the fox here. And the big one. You see that this fox is a tiny fox? And yes. A four by four Oops. would be just, I, for me, it would be better because I like bigger pieces. Okay. The butterfly, the same thing, a little bit better. So four ah. by four, you're, fi you're fine. For the leaf, you will start with a six by six. Six by six. Which is the one that you find everywhere. For the leaf. Yeah. Right? Give me that. So we are going to do the crane now. Do you, what color do you want? This one? Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to do in the big one, and we are going to end up with a big crane like this guy. Okay? Man, then the cranes are cool too because, I mean, you can use the same thing. You can, yes, yes you can make it into jewelry, mm -hmm. but look, you can coat this with the Paverpaw and then you can make some beautiful uh, mobiles and yes. things like that with the crane. This one is coated, right? I with think so. Let me so, show them. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Let me show them. Sorry. Look at that. Look at this. And I left the, the, this wing up on purpose because if I... To give it movement? I, I, I actually want to have uh, several cranes on, on a window. On, yeah, exactly. Just hanging there with That's nylon what I'm cord. Thinking, like with fishing? fishing yes. yes. Yes, fishing line. Uh, fishing line, and then you can hang it? Yes. Yes. I'm going after this again. <laughs> Woo, third time's the charm. I got it. So the reason I left this wing up is because here's where I'm going to put a hole and to be able to put on the nylon cord on the fishing line. So when I put several in different heights on my window. It'll be awesome. Oh, just yes. The neighbors will go, oh my gosh, she's so creative. So, and it's already coated. So it's just waiting for the friends so I can place all that. The and friend. you see uh, the friends. Now, this could be turned oh. into, uh, if you're cr going to create a wind chime for your garden, for example. This is not going to make noise. Right. But you, <laughs> you like to steal my thunder sometimes. No. No. It's just I'm all on a row creating. <laughs> well, you and said it's not wind chimes. Right. My wind chime has glass <laughs> that hits and makes a beautiful yes. noise. Yes. And then it would have also some origami to keep flying together. Yeah, I There's like nothing that. wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, I like so, that. So, for example, I would create three of them and put it with my wind chime, very coated with the power pole. If it was the transparent one, I would add a, a layer of Josephine varnish on top and I would put it in my garden. Look at this, so romantic. So romantic. Rexy says, I love you guys. Big hugs. <laughs> okay, so last one, the crane. Okay, show us. So I have a square. You of have paper. a square. Six I'm by using six. the six by six just to show you. If you were doing this as a pendant, you would use the Smaller. three by three, okay, or four by four. Okay, so remember the butterfly? We started the blank showing. Mm. Remember that? I remember that. The crane is the exact opposite. We start with the color part. It's very important, and you're going to see why. So first thing I have to, to do is my triangle score. Mm, okay. So it's the same thing we all did. All the ones you showed us today start like that. Yes, but they always started with the blank on top. Now we did the, the opposite. Okay, now I come here, do it again. Turn and fold it again. Okay, open, turn. So I did this with the butterfly, remember? Yes. Now rectangle. Okay. Open, turn, rectangle. Okay. Now, remember that I had two lines that were a dip when I did the butterfly. Here they are pointing up like a mountain. Mm. 
So when I put them together, instead of having that triangle, I'm actually going to have a square. That is the reason why you start with the color mm. on, on, the, on the top. Okay, because if you start with the, the other one, then you're going to have the triangle you had for the butterfly. Now, I have to tell you that the crane, I had to make several times before I got it. And now I think I have it memorized. So don't think that because you're seeing this and you forget something, you're not doing something right. It, it has more steps, okay? So I have the, the square here, all the points here in the back, see? I'm going to grab this point here and bring to the middle, creating another triangle, see? And I do the same thing on the other side. So this is what I have right now. You're going to see with origami, usually what you do on one side, you do on the other. So we turn and we do exactly the same thing. Okay, on the other side and on the other side. Okay, be careful at home to fold it right because you see I have some white showing here. So this is the format I have at the moment, like a ice cream, right? I have this part here, I'm going to score to this side and I'm going to score to the other side. Okay? Yes. Okay, now. It's like a kite. Like a kite, exactly. But now I'm going to unfold this and I'm going to I hold the paper here where I scored, and I open and close this part. And now I have a balloon Now you here. have a little boat. Okay, I did this on one side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh. Okay, I open, I open. Uh, here I hold the paper. Here I come and I help it open. See, it goes into like a canoe. But then it goes into a fly, fly balloon. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you see this part here moves. What am I going to do? I'm going to bring the top here to the middle again, like I did the first time. So here and here have two triangles, okay? Now I turn and I do exactly the same. Triangle, triangle. Okay, see, this is what you have so far. Now what I'm going to do is fold these two pieces inside and pinch and do the same on the other side. So I'm always repeating whatever I did on one side on the other. This is what I have, okay? You see that now I'm going to bring this up and I repeat the same on the other side. Up. Okay, see? These are my wings. This is my head. This is my tail. You choose which one you want, the head or the tail. So you fold in half. And then here where the head would be, I'm going to pinch and pinch inside. So I form the beak and the face. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then this I basically just fold in half. Okay. And now pay attention from the top. Let me see if I pinch this right. Okay. I'm going to open the wings. So I first bend them a little like this, and then look the magic happen. As I pull the paper, not too strong, can you see this ballooning in the middle? Mm -hmm. The crane is born. The crane is born. This is the body. See? Now I'll show from there. Look, look, look. Oh my goodness. Pretty. Look. Now, if I'm making this into a pendant, I can't try to put a chain here. It would kind of work, but usually it's better on the wings. So I usually leave one wing more on the vertical. So when I put the chain here, it touches my body this way and it keeps the crane 
position. not position as yes, a crane, well and not like this or like that, okay? So and that's the reason why. The but other thing to consider when you do that is this would be comfortable on the skin on this side because it's not flat-ish, mm -hmm. so it won't hurt or it anything. It won't hurt or Whereas scratch. Whereas if you had it some other way, these little points might get in the way yeah. of the person. So what you have to decide is if you want the crane facing this way, or this way, and if it's this way, this one goes up, this one goes down. But you see the chubby body, I love when he balloons into that. Yes, super cute. Super cute, can super I coat cute. that? Yes, let's coat it. Okay, so I have my power pole here. Okay. Yeah, the power pole that you have in promotion today, so you don't wanna miss that. Definitely not, mondomarkettv.com is where you can get it on sale during the next 24 hours. Get your supply of transparent power pulp. Comes in this handy bottle that you can squeeze it on. Super good. MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get it. Yes, and do it today so do you it have today. it. Do it today. So don't it. forget to leave the, the leaf that you want, the leaf, the, the leaf. wing the that wing. you want up, right? And then it would be ready. Because this one is not going to be a pendant, I'm going to leave both leaves the same way. And it's ready for my window thing. <laughs> Perfect. See? Good job. So, any other questions? If you have any questions, you there's a, yes, your Roxy final said, chance. Cute, 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 very cute. cute. Super so, cute. let's review. What do you learn today? Tons of things. We learned the butterfly. We learned the butterfly. We learned the fox. We learned the fox. We learned the crane. The crane and the and amazing we, leaf. And so, the leaf. Let, let me put all of them together here so how, you can take a look. And how about if we do it here? Okay. And we learn how to make them resistant to the elements. Exactly. Be get, get, grab a beautiful butterfly. This one is already like done. Butterfly. Do you like this This one? butterfly is good too. That's yeah, the one I made. This cute little fox. And the fox. Look, Let's guys. See. This butterfly is not showing. Not showing. <laughs> it's scrambled. You know why? why? Because you learn a lot of things today right just with this live broadcast so now what can you do you can create a whole line of paper jewelry and sell at the yes. next bazaar you have in town so quick the to next do. show so quick Super to do quick to make and your investment in the actual, the, the cost of goods sold super low right yes. it costs and if you nothing. have granddaughters if you have cousins if you have young people they will just go crazy if you have mothers over this. Yeah, that too. Look at that butterfly that I made with the bronze power ball. If you have daughters, oh, look hint, at hint. this. See, uh, the daughters hint, hint, grab everything they see in the studio. I demo it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you see that you can give as a gift, you can sell, you can just make for fun. Uh, it's, yes. it's awesome just when you want to relax. But when you're having to a piece of jewelry, you are sure that no matter to whom you give or you sell, it's going to last. And why? Because you have coated that with power ball which is a fantastic thing to use with Super any type cool. of fiber because yes. not only protects, it hardens the fiber, protects from the elements as well. That's right. And by the way, Bonnie said that they're all adorable. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I hope you had a lot of fun. Don't forget, mondomarkettv.com, next 24 hours, it's on sale. So get your transparent power ball. Yes, and if you forget any of the steps, just watch it again. Rewatch this video, it stays open for you. As many times and tell your friends about it. Now, next week. What about next week? I have a surprise for you. Woo. We have a new show coming on Monday. Yes, this is Same exciting. Same time with Shailene. Crafting with Shailene. Crafting with Shailene. Shailene Child is an amazing artist. Uh, she gave a few classes here at Curious Mondo. Toe painting was one of them. And she has been working with this world for, for many many years and she's so fun so cool she's so creative too it's gonna be awesome so every single monday at 2 30 p.m mountain time you tune in on mondo market tv facebook youtube and you'll be able not only yes. to watch but ask her questions and she's going to have a beautiful project every time this monday she's going to be talking about succulents but succulents are succulents. in yes and she's going to create some amazing pieces she's also a wedding professional so she uh, creates events all the time her yes. knowledge is unbelievable this is gonna be fun stay tuned mondomarkettv.com monday crafting with shillin starts and you're gonna love it and on thursday i'm going to show you some amazing things that you can do with 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 tell me zippers what 
it. Yes, yes, something that you have a home that you don't need to go out to buy. Well, and we are going to create some amazing things with that. So I'm make sure next that. Thursday yes. to be here. Yes. That's right. And we Ooh. always air at the same time, 1.30 Pacific, 2.30 Mountain, 3.30 Central, 4.30 Eastern. Always at MondoMarketTV.com or on our Facebook page, Mondo Market. By the way, if you haven't liked our Facebook page, do that. It helps us tremendously and it makes sure that you get the notifications when we go live. And if you like these shows, please leave a review there as well. Yes. It's so important for us because that's how Facebook thinks, okay, I'll show what they're putting out or I'm not going to show what they're putting that's out. That's right. So your support is really important. Of course, when you buy, we are really happy. But if you leave a like, if you leave a review, we do the happy dance as well, we right? We always do it, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, well, go to MondoMarketTV.com to get your Paul supplies and your origami supplies. And, and you will see them Monday with Chilean? Monday crafting with Chilean. And I will see you Thursday. Yes, that's right. See, see ya. you then.